Wake up. Wake up. Elliot? Yeah? What am I doing here? You... You don't remember? No. A.B. asked me to come rescue you from... from... from the bar last night. Bar? Y yeah. I was at Stanley. Oh, son of a bitch! I'm going to kill him! What? What? what kill who? Kill who? Who are you killing? No, 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 no. Lily, Lily! Lily, 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 Anyone tonight? Just, just, just calm down, please. Oh, but I'm please. calm. I'm so calm. I'm going to kill that cheating bastard. Let go. I, 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 I said no. You are, you are, not, you are not killing anyone tonight. No, no one is dying. Just, you are not in the, f in the right, right frame, frame of mind. Please, just, just calm down. You're not exactly in the best position to tell me what frame of mind I'm in. Look at you. You're drunk. What is wrong with you, man? Huh? You just wait until I tell Abby how drunk you are. Let no, 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 no. You, 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 you will, you will do no such thing. You, you, you can't, you, you, you can't tell, you can't tell Abby and anything. You will not tell her. Please, please. Let go. Don't what? I don't want to hear it. Does she know? All right, I'm sorry. Shh. Hi, babe. Oh, I miss you too. No, I'm fine. Everything is perfect here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Okay, babe, you know what? I, I, I'll call you back. Yeah, yeah. I have some unfinished business to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll call you back. Bye. I love you forever. I can't say quite. Okay, fine. Ellie, I give up. I give up, please. You're such an asshole. Oh. Oh. Does she know? You love her, don't you? Yes. I do. 
then why do you still need it? It's not as simple as you think. No, bro. It's not simple at all. All I know is that you have to want it so bad that you will do whatever it takes. I know a place. A place that will help you get better with time. Please consider it. Why are you laughing? What? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Play. Hey, calculate. 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 calculate now. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight. There you go. Just eight. While on the other hand, I win. You win? <laughs> yes. How? Let me see. How else? No, don't see. You're not seeing. What do you mean I can't see? It's a premium. Let me see. I will no, not see. Hold no, on, no, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Wait. 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 No, let me see. Okay. On one condition. What condition? That you will do whatever word it is I have here. What will I have written? What I haven't seen? What if the word doesn't exist in the dictionary? Trust me, it does. Babe, can I no, see? No, maybe it does. No. Elliot, no. Okay, well, yeah, I agree, yeah. I, uh, well, uh, well, well, let me just see it first. Okay, okay, I'll show you. Then show me. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> so, were you kidding? No, I'm not. Hello. No, I am not. So, <laughs> will you buy me? Yes, 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 <laughs> oh my God. I was like, this much you just made me the happiest man. No, you are. Oh my God. I will love you forever. <laughs> The sacraments of marriage must be preserved at all costs. That is why it is mandatory to undergo counseling for months before saying I do. Once you say those sacred words, it is forever, for better and for worse. Yes, we do understand. We understand, Father. The church frowns upon divorce. That is why the both of you must be absolutely sure that you want to commit to each other for all times. I have never been more sure of anything in my life, Father. Baby is the woman for me. There is no other. And you? Are you absolutely sure you want to spend the rest of your life with him? Forsaking all others? Yes, Father, without any doubt. Well, I say we move on. 
Does any member of the family wish to say a final word or two before we finally lay our brother to rest? In the absence of you, Elliot was a good son and a good brother. Every time I got into trouble, which was always often, he was always there to bail me out. There was one time that I was helping a friend at an examination and then I got caught. My brother Elliot convinced the disciplinary committee that he was the one who brought up the idea. He took the blame for it. But that earned us two weeks suspension, including myself. But that's just who my brother was. I can go on and on about how kind and, and generous my brother was. But there is nothing I say that would bring my brother back. Elliot is gone. But I do know that if there is a heaven somewhere, that is where Elliot will be. That is where my beloved brother would be. I miss you so much, Elliot. I miss you, bro. And I... Lazarus, thank you very much for inviting me for dinner. That was kind of you. Please call me Emilia. I'm not that good. Not me. <laughs> very well then. Emilia, thank you very much. Feel so free to come here anytime. You are welcome. Thanks. Baby Tari, where's your sister? Is she not joining us? Um, yeah, she's um not feeling so well. Okay.
I am Detective Boniface Akwa, and here is my partner, Detective Henry Togo. We are here uh, regarding the murder case of Mr. Elliot Adeniga. What? Murder? Yes, murder. We have good reason to believe that Mr. Adeniga was murdered in cold blood right in his very apartment. Wait, 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 wait. According to the initial report from the police, it was an accident. Oh yes, that was before the evidence we currently have pertaining into his death. What evidence? What evidence do you have, officers? Oh, Mr. Marcel Adenuga. Elias is my... Elias was my brother. Oh, Mr. Adenuga. We're just coming from your... your brother's place. Well, since we have everyone here, we might as well just... Detective. We received an anonymous tip this morning regarding your brother's death. Oh, yes. And, um... These are pictures... were taken by... by someone who claims to have an angel on the, um, killer of your brother. What? This is a woman, officer. Are you saying that a woman murdered my brother? Oh, my gosh. Who could have done such an abominable act? Who could have committed this? Miss Lazarus, um, I'm sorry for your loss. But if I may ask, was Mr. Adenuga seeing other women? No, he, Elliot's never cheated on me. Okay, can you give account of where you were on the night of his death? Officer, this is my brother's fiance. There is no way she had anything to do with this. Yeah. Well, well, like I said earlier, nothing is proven yet. However, we have launched a full investigation into the case and be rest assured, we will get to the bottom of this case. Sure. Definitely. Um, in the meantime, we would um, implore you all to remain in town until yeah. we are done with our investigation because we might have to invite any of you at any time to sure. our office. For all right. Reason. And that reminds me, I was told you have another daughter. Is she in here? Yes, officer, I have another daughter, but she's not around. Oh, good. Um, like I was saying, I would need a full account of where you all were on this set night. And please kindly inform your daughter that she might be invited to our office for questioning. Okay, officer. Whatever you need, we'll be here for you. We'll have our full attention. Thank you. And please, keep me informed on all and every development as regards this. This is my card. I'll be expecting to hear from you. Oh, good. Um, Here's my card too. Please, if anyone hears or, or sees or remembers anything suspicious that can help or lead to any sort of arrest that has to do with this case, please do not hesitate to call us. Okay, officer. Well, thank you. The document. Um, we'll see ourselves out now. Thank you for your time. All right. And have a thank great you. night. Mother. Hello, officer. Yes, this is Marcel Adenuga.
things that you've done to your sister, she will forgive you. No, she won't. You guys are going to You don't know what I've done. What have you done? <laughs> What's going on? My sister just woke Baby, up from I'm sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive me. She had a nightmare. She was just screaming, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know whatever it is that she has done. But I'm sure whatever it is, you will forgive her. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm sorry, okay. please forgive me. I didn't... I, I, I just don't know. Look, I forgive you. I forgive you. It's fine. Stop, stop, stop really? crying. Yes, I have. Mom, can I have a word with Lillian alone, please? Please. Please, I'm sure whatever it is, you guys will find a way to amend it. Yes, ma'am. That's okay. You guys have been through worse. We'll get through this too. Okay? <laughs> I'm really proud of both of you. Okay? So proud of you too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have listened to Elliot and he said I should have gone. I should have just stayed. I should have stayed. Maybe I need to save your life now. I'm sorry. Yes, you should have stayed back. <laughs> Lillian, you should have stayed back. You should have listened for once in your life when he told you not to move, when he told you to stay back. You should have said, but no, you're just a stupid, selfish little brat. You do whatever you like. You don't care about how your actions affect people. You don't care. I'm sorry. You should have listened to him and stayed back. Maybe he will still be with us here. Who am I even kidding? But it's, it's, it's much as my fault as it is yours because I. No, no, no. If you don't blame yourself. I told him. I told him to pick you up. I should have just come for you myself. This is not on you. This is on me. This is all on me. And I'm just, I'm going to turn myself in. I'm going to the police station and I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll turn myself in. I'll go. You, you will go to what? I'll go to the police station and just... I'll Come, li listen. Everything. Lillian. 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 I need you to be calm. Listen. Listen to me. What is done has been done. And we can't undo anything. It was an accident, and I know that he had a drinking problem. I think it's all my fault because I should have given him the help that, that he needed, but I just didn't care. I, I, I've lost a loved one, I, and I'm not ready to lose another one. Listen, Lillian, I need you to be calm. Listen, Lillian, be calm. You're not going to the police. And please. Please, do not give the police or Elliot's brother any reason to suspect us. This stays between us. Whatever happened will stay between us. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, I was just driving by and decided to drop some fresh flowers. I'm Lily, Abby's sister. Oh, right. The missing one. <laughs> Forgive my manners. I'm Marcel. It's my brother. I know who you are. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Sent it, didn't you? Sent what? The wine and the note. I'm sorry for your loss. I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me the truth. It was you who sent it. No. Wait, so what exactly was his reaction when you told him you were my sister? At first he was smiling. 
But then something happened when I told him I was sorry for his loss. He just changed. How? I don't know. First he froze, and then he started accusing me of doing something. He think he knows? See, that was my first thought too. But then he said something about the red wine and a card. And I was relieved. Red wine and a card? Yeah. I got seen the other day at the office. What? Abby, why didn't you say something? I just didn't want to bother you because you're going through a lot already. So what does this mean? I don't know. Look, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Me too. You think he knows? What a coincidence. Yes. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's so, so good to see you. I, I see you've met my sister. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, we have met Lillian. <laughs> so? So, what are you ladies doing here? Oh, my sister's boutique. This is actually my sister's boutique. So I just wow. need to give a few things. Okay. Yeah, and you, what are you doing here? Well, I was driving by and then I decided to stop by and just pick up some shoes for tomorrow's Amazing. dinner. You're doing well with publicity, you know. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll find something that suits your taste here. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I am sure I would if I have a competent hand to guide me. Oh, she is. She's capable. She's competent. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she is. Uh, uh, trust me, she is. So I'll see you. I was on my way out before you. All right, okay. fine. Uh, yeah. See you tomorrow, okay? See you. Bye, sis. Bye. See you at home. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, shall we? As you can see, I'm here alone and it's my me time. So if you don't mind, shh. Oh, but I do mind. Actually, I'm here trying to run away from my brother too. So I guess we can just make this we time. I actually thought I will be alone here tonight, just, you know, meditate and all, but I don't know why I'm accepting this. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually thought so too, but since we are here already, um, what do you say we make the most of it? I'm Elliot, by the way. Ebitare. Hey, hmm. Ebitare. Hey, Such a pretty name. Good to meet you. Oh, so, what are you having? Oh. Oh, where's the waiter? Oh. Waiter, oh, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Yes, sir. 
Lillian, you've really got some quality stuff here. <laughs> Thank you. As long as you're spending your money, anytime. <laughs> well, as long as I have you as my personal shopper, anytime. <laughs> we'll see about that. I bet we will. Would I see you at a dinner tomorrow? No, I can't. Why? Oh, sorry. I have to take. Uh, that's fine. I'll wait. Hey, sis. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Are you alright? And and is, is he alright too? Alright, I'm on my way. Okay, bye. What happened? My sister just hit a guy. What? Yeah. Is she okay? She sounds fine, but she needs me. Okay, let's go. I'll drive. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just grab my bag. Okay. So how is he doing? Everything appears to be in good condition. But we can keep him overnight for monitoring. I'll discharge him first thing tomorrow morning. Doctor, do you think it's a good idea to discharge me in the morning? I don't feel strong at all. From all indications, everything seems to be just fine. But we can definitely keep him for one more day, if that is what you want. I mean, no, that's what he wants. He says he's offering too good. So we can keep him and monitor him. Please. Exactly, Doctor. I think one or two more days for proper checkup, you know, is a good idea. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It's okay. Alright, nice. Let's go. I'm afraid not yet, sir. But we have reasons to believe a female was involved in this murder. And do you have a description of the said woman? The description we have um, matches that of the fiance of the deceased. But we cannot make any arrest at this point since we do not have any prints or evidence showing that she was at the crime scene that night. How is her alibi for the time of the crime? Oh, very strong, sir. The mother said um, her two daughters were both with her 
all night, and her sister confirmed same sir. And this source, assuming he's a man, how reliable is he? He cannot be taking the entire police force on a wild goose chase. That is why we are doing proper investigation to uncover the identity of this person before making any arrest based on his lead. Based on the autopsy result, the deceased had um, a lot of um, alcohol in his system, so we need to be very sure that it wasn't an accident in the first place. Good call, good call. But this case must not drag on. Let's close this case as soon as possible so that the brother can return back to Europe with at least a very good information about Nigerian police. Thank you. Yes, I will do our best, sir. I'll be out. Dismissed. Sure, sir. You need to hurry up with this makeup so I can go. I'm done. I'm but done. 30 minutes late already. I know. I'm done, Mom. I'm done. No, wait. But please don't keep me waiting. I won't long. keep you waiting, Mom. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? Marcel will be super glad to see you. Oh, I'm sure he won't hold his breath. It's so weird between us now. I know, right? I think he likes you. Too bad for him. If you just try and have fun tonight, okay? Lord knows you really need it. Have fun. At Elias Memorial. Really? <sighs> Baby, what are you even saying? Baby, look. Not today, really? okay? Not today, please. I know, I just, I've just been avoiding doing this. I'm going to smell your makeup. I know you want me to be happy, and you too, you also have to be happy. It wasn't your fault, it wasn't anybody's fault. And I just think it's time we forgive ourselves and move on. Okay? Okay. I was avoiding doing this. So I'll see. Hey there, fine. how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Is Lillian in the office? Um, oh yes, should I tell her you're here? Actually, is it okay if I go in? I'd like to surprise her. Okay, um, her office is the second door by your right. By my right? Yes, sir. Got it, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, Lillian. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, I'm sorry for badging in like this, but I really need to talk to you. Okay. Please sit. Thank you. Uh, What's up? It's about my brother and your sister. What about them? What was their relationship like? Were they having any issue? No. I mean, did you notice any changes before he, you know? No. Not that I'm aware of. They were the perfect couple. Abby really loved Elliot. And he loved her too. Yes, I, I know they loved each other, but... Did Elliot cheat on her? I see where this is going, and I don't like it. Look, Lillian, I am really sorry. I'm so sorry about this, but I am trying to understand what exactly happened to my brother. If Elio cheated on her, maybe Abby would have... No! My sister would never do anything to hurt your brother. And as far as I know, Elio never cheated on her. You know what? We're done here. I'm going home. I'll drop you off then. No, don't bother. Oh, I was really hungry. <laughs> The food they give here is trash. That thing couldn't even pass my throat, you know. <laughs> wow. So 
concerned. So good you came along. <laughs> it shows you have me your thoughts. <laughs> nice. The doctor said you'll be discharged tomorrow. Hmm. And I kicked against it, you know. But he insisted. I mean, he says you're doing okay. You're doing fine. So. Yeah. I guess I don't have a choice. I have to go. It would be nice if you come around once in a while to check on me, you know. Oh, look, I'm a very busy person. Like, I have a very busy schedule. I'll, I'll send you a cab to pick you. I'll send a cab to pick you and take you home. That won't be necessary. I just remember that I have to make a quick stop at Elliot's. Yeah, because I guess Marcel, his brother, would like to know what happened the night he died. Talking about what night? What night? And how do you even know Elliot? Who are you? Well, let's just say I am a concerned citizen who likes to look out for his neighbor, you know. I saw everything that happened that night. I have proof. Now, like I said earlier, would you be kind enough? to check on me at home from time to time. Yeah. Oh, I knew you were going to make the right decision. <laughs> run along, run along, just go. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. My love to your sister. <laughs> Baby, yes, what is the matter? Is anything? What's going on? You don't look good. I'm fine. It's just, it's just walking on. I've told you you need some time off. With everything that is going on, you just need to be alone. Both of you. No, mom. Vacation won't be a bad idea. Uh uh. I can't right now, mom. The store needs me. Besides, I, maybe it's just fine. Nothing a good night's sleep wouldn't fix. Right, Abby? I'm her mother. She's not looking good. 
I'm, I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. Chicken knows. Knows what? What we did and everything that happened that night. He knows. What? How? I don't know. It turns out he lives in Elliot's estate and, he, and he, 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 he was on his way home that night when he saw us. He has pictures of us. Oh God. He has pictures of us. He has everything. He knows everything that happened that night. Oh God. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm out of ideas. I don't know. Oh I don't know. He's going to report us to the police. Maybe what if you report us to the police? I don't know. Wait. If you wanted to report us, you would have reported us by now. He wants something. Right? Maybe what does he want? Talk to me! He wants me. Ew, no! He can't have you. Lena, what other choice do I have? Lena, I'm asking you, what other choice do I have? There has to be another way. I don't know! I don't know because I'm out of ideas! I don't know! I don't know what other way! I can't have you, no. Samasan, we have a new lead we are following. And so far, we are sure the killer of your brother is a woman. So a woman killed my brother? Who is this woman? And why did she kill him? I cannot give you any more information until we're very sure of the details of everything that transpired on the night of your brother's murder. DPO, I need that woman found immediately. The sooner she pays for her crimes, the sooner I get back to my life in London. If you need anything at all from me, I am available now. I assure you, my officers are working tirelessly on this case. We will bring that to book. But in the meantime, please relax and let us do our investigation without interference. Thank you very much, DPO. Welcome to my humble abode. Here, yeah, it's for you. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Nice house. But I have to rush to the office now. But you just got here. Come on, stay a little longer. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I had to move a minute since I'll be able to bring it down here. Uh, if I have to move another one, I'll be in trouble at the office. Hmm. I don't want you getting into more trouble than you are already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in that case, I'll just walk you to your car. Thank you. I hope you, you feel better now. I'm strong. Especially now that I have you to take care of me. I'll be fine. You don't want a drink? I'm fine. No, 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 you can have some. No, I'm, I'm fine. You're, you're turning down my drink. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I just don't want to drink anything. <laughs> no, of course, of course. <laughs> 
course, uh, Hey, babe. How's your day going? Good. Yours? Good afternoon, sir. Hi, Rosie. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Okay, take the rest of the stock and list all the items you need to restock, okay? Okay, yes, ma'am. I'll be in my office. Let's go. All right. <laughs> but truth be told, growing up with Elliot was really an exciting experience because mm -hmm. I remember our mother used to beat us and spank us <laughs> so well. And the funny thing is this, most times the fault is from Elliot, not me. No. Yes, because I'm the good guy. Mm-hmm. Good guy indeed. What do you mean by good guy indeed? <laughs> I'm serious. Look, look, most times, every issue that happens in the house, they look at me. They think I'm the one who's causing because the problem. Because you're the rebel. No, rebel. Do I look, this, do do I like, look like... No, scratch that. You are the rebel. Come on. <laughs> okay, I just feel something break inside now. Oh, That's a false. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a sec. All right. Hey, Abby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. S slow down. Okay. Mm-hmm. I understand. Um, but uh, Marcel is here, so why don't we talk when I get back home tonight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Is everything okay? Mm hmm Everything is perfect. Okay. Just perfect. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have to leave now, please. Come on, but you just got here. At, at, at least have your drink. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it when next I come, please. When next you come? Yeah. I'm sure when next you come, you'll be having more than juice, you know? What's, it, what's going on? You know what I mean, don't you? Don't you touch me, you... Hey, what are you trying to do? You trying to call me names? Look, no name calling, all right? So I need to remind you what will happen if you do not keep to your end of the deal. Huh? Fine. <laughs> What's more? I'm sorry. It's more like it. Can I please leave now? Of course. Thank I'll you. be right here waiting for you to return to me. Can I get a hug? A hug. You don't always have to run off, you know. I'm a nice guy. I know I'm a nice guy, come on. I'll just buy you lunch then. What are you doing, Marcel? First dinner, now lunch. Come on, Lillian. Humor a guy. I get why dinner would be a problem with you. But lunch is totally harmless. All we have to do is breeze by one of these fast food joints and eat something. 30 minutes tops, we're done. Fine. 30 minutes and I'm out. That's a deal. <laughs> Thank 
Lilian, you know you're playing with fire. You know. It's not what you think. It's not what I think. Marcel and I were just having lunch. From lunch that turned to dinner. Really? You're fooling for this guy and you know it is dangerous. No, not stupid. We were just having lunch. Okay. It's nothing serious, okay? So just chill. I should just chill. I will chill. Where is mom? Don't ask me any question, please. Mommy has gone to bed. Okay, so what do we do about this cheeky character? How do we even know he's not bluffing? Look, that guy is a nut job. And I don't want to know what he's capable and not capable of doing. I'm just going to play by his rules and give him what he wants. No! What is no? No, we can't do that. How can we give him what he wants for blackmailing us? No way. He won't know Elliot's death was an accident. It was an accident that we did not report. How do you think Marcel will take that piece of information? As usual, I'm going to take the fault for this one again. Thank you. Stay the hell away from my sister. You hear me? I don't care whatever evidence you think you have on us, but you're way off. Because my sister is innocent. Ebi didn't do anything. And you can't prove anything. So back off. I won't warn you again. Hey, Lillian. Uh, hi. Fancy seeing you in my neighborhood. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Really? Uh-huh. I want uh, to surprise you. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> I'm really surprised. Pleasantly surprised. You look nice and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I look very sweaty now. I'm big on fitness. Oh, please forgive my manners. Come inside. Yeah, come in. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> really good to see you. Just hold on a bit. Okay. So I know it's a bit too early to be drinking wine. But my brother has this whole house stocked up with wine. I have no idea what to do with it. I love red wine. Oh good. Cheers. Okay, let me take a shower. We'll join you shortly. Now, before you give me a long speech about rushing off to the store, I am making breakfast and you're eating before you leave this house. Okay? Good girl. If I may ask, what changed? And now I just can't seem to get enough of you. Hmm. Interesting. 
Well, I'm not complaining. So, see you in a bit. Shall we? This is really good. Unfortunately, I cannot take credit for it. I only just preheat these. Well, kudos for effort. I'm really enjoying it. You should wait till you taste my vegetable soup. I could make you lunch, you know. Nice try, myself. I'm out of here after this food. Lillian, would you relax? It's Saturday. And I'm very sure that the rules will be fine without you. Spend the day with me, please. So you don't understand. I can't. I don't understand what? Lillian, why are you scared of being with me? Is it because of my brother? Do I know you? Um, you don't remember. Oh, you're the guy from the hospital. The one a bit I hit. It's me. I'm lucky to be alive. Right. So what brings you here? Well, let's just say that I have something that will interest you greatly. Okay. Fine, come and sit. Uh, Lillian. You remember Chike? Yes. Of course. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm glad to be alive. <laughs> yeah, please uh, sit. Thank you. Uh, you just said you there's something you think I'll be interested in. Oh, yeah. It's not that important. Are you sure? Because Lillian and I, we're done. You know, I'll just... Okay. I stay next door. Huh. I'll be back. All right. Uh, thanks for stopping by. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Strange guy. Mm -hmm. Something is just not right with him. I agree. <laughs> you know, I really don't feel like going to the office anymore. How about I stay for that lunch after all? Wow. The day just keeps getting better and better. Okay, calm down, Marcel. I'm only just staying for the food. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> your wish is my command, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay.
Hey. Hey, man. Where did you go? I went to use the bathroom. Oh. Don't ever leave me again, okay? Uh, come here. <clears throat> So now what? What is stopping him from going over there to spill his guts to Marcel? I don't know. But I did the best I could under the circumstances. And your best was to spend two nights with Elliot's brother? The same house you killed him? Are you serious? You should have just told me that- I didn't sleep with him. I didn't. I only stayed back so Chike wouldn't come back and rat us out. That you know me because you killed him. And we're both in this mess because of you. And for the rest of my life, you will keep reminding me of the worst day of my life. It's also the worst day of my life. Selfish brat. After you killed my fiance. I'm sorry, baby. Okay? I am. If if I could take it back, I would. In a heartbeat. I'm sorry, okay? Baby. Hello, detective. Yeah, how are you? Right now? Okay. Yeah, there's a new development as regards my brother's case. Okay, that's fine. I'll be there soon. Thank you very much.
are granting your wish. I'll grant you your wish. Yes. Good afternoon. Good morning. Can I help you? Sorry, no, no, sir. So, that's my sister. Please, can we see her? Please. Are you not seeing her? Officer, please. That's my daughter right there. Can we talk to her, please? Can we talk to her, please? Your daughter is a murderer. The only time you can talk to her is in court when she's sentenced for her crimes. But, but she's innocent. You don't have any evidence against her. What other evidence is needed when she already confessed to the crimes? Mr. Adenuga, the DPO has been expecting you. Thank you, officer. Thank God we are through with our investigations and we are preparing our documents to go to court. Mr. Adenuga, Marcel, can you hear me? She didn't kill him. What? Lillian did not kill my brother. Neither did her sister, Ebitare. But she confessed and she turned herself in. Why would someone admit to a crime she didn't commit? Guilt. She might not have killed him. But she definitely left him to die. I have proof of who killed my brother. May I use your system? I beg, your two minutes don't over. Officer, please step away from the prisoner. Please, now one more minute. Step away from the prisoner. Good day, officer. I brought another piece of evidence to further put this murderers behind bars. Mr. Chicky Linus, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Elliot Adenuga. What are you talking about? Exactly what you heard. I don't understand. There's definitely a mix of somebody. I just brought the last evidence to, to show that these are the murderers. So what are you saying? Mr. Linus. Hey, let, let go of my hand. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. What's this gibberish spinning out of me? Hey, hey, you're hurting me, man. Respect yourself. Look, say something. That's... Officers, please just give me a moment. I just have one word to say to this murderer! You son of a bitch! I'll make sure you spend every single moment of your life in jail! Hey, you, 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 you hit like a bitch! Do you understand? You're lucky my hands are tied! to air is human, to forgive is divine. My son, thank you for taking time out to come and see me. I truly appreciate it. Please find it in your heart to forgive my daughters. I know what they did was wrong. Even if they've taken another step or they've done something differently from what they did, maybe would have lived. But then again, we are not God. Please, 
wronged you. I beg you to forgive that. We've wronged you. My daughters have wronged you. I loved your brother like a son. This was his home. Please, forgive us. I've heard you, ma'am. But I'm going to need some time to process all of this. Because at the moment, it's just, it's a lot. I know, you're a human being. Just take all the time you need. But just know, with your heart of heart, that we love you. We love your brother. We see us as family. Please. Thanks. I didn't do it for you. Because you both are as guilty as he is. When I know that my beloved brother Elliot loved you. And probably you love him too. That is the only reason why I'm not pressing charges against you too. Why did you turn yourself in? Hmm? Because, because she's in love with you. Well, that is very sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too. Myself. <laughs> 